for the Stampin' and Anna's tutorials are up on my blog. They're $9.95. I have to go over it every week because I usually post these on on YouTube, although I've been having been so behind, <laughs> I haven't been posting them, but I'm gonna try to get one up this week. And so these are, if you make a purchase through me, they are free. I send them in the email, thank you, when you order with me. So there's six different tutorials. They're all 3D or they are fun fold cards or fancy fold. And then the holiday catalog is now live. So there's so much good stuff in here. Let me see if I can find the one I'm going to use. I can't stop ordering out of this catalog. I have a terrible problem, <laughs> but I'm using the poinsettia petals tonight for the box and the little card. And I'm doing a four by four card. Oh no, Diane. My mom got those. It's terrible. My, hu my husband got the shot for it and he keeps telling me I need to go get the shot because those are really, really bad. I know what my mom went through. It's terrible. I hope you get feeling better. Oh no. <laughs> all right. I think that's all the news except for Karen Rowe. I don't see Karen on. She's usually on here pretty much most of the time, but Karen won for sharing last, well, I guess two weeks ago. So Karen won the gift this week. All right, so here is the card and the box that we're making today. Me too, Jamie, I can't stop ordering out of this catalog. It's been really bad. It's just, I really, this has been, I have to say, one of my favorite catalogs in a while. I like, I love them all. I love the annual catalogs when they come out, but the holiday ones are really, really fun. I just love, as you can see, holiday projects. <laughs> so this is my time of the year. So this is the four by four. It's got the little poinsettia on it. And then I didn't put an inside on it, but I will so that I can use this. I'll, I'll usually, I'll probably put very vanilla since it's got the very vanilla on here. And this poinsettia is not the paper, it is the felt. So I'm doing it with the felt and it even gives the little impression on the, on the felt because it has that little, the die has that little, oh, what do you call it, detail that you can put inside. And so this just opens, it's three by three by I think one and a half. And I'm thinking that I may, I put these little sprigs in here, but I'm thinking I might make these red this time. I did cut some that are, um, I think this is Sahara sand that I'm using. No, it's soft suede. So the box is soft suede. I love this paper. So I'm using the Poinsettia Place, the designer series paper, and it's this one. It has the wood grain on the back, but I love this paper. So pretty. I love this. I love both sides of this paper. So that's what we're, we're using for this. And I am using the Stampin' Up! felt. So it is this package here, and it has four different, it has the uh, Just Jade, Real Red, and then Early Espresso, and then the uh, Whisper White. I, I use the Whisper White for another project. We are going to use both of these and I think I might be able to cut the other two out of this little piece. I'm trying to sparingly use it. I think, I don't know, this the quality of this feels really nice. It doesn't feel like it, you know how like felt sometimes sheds? Um, this doesn't do that and I don't know if it's just made for running through the um, embossing machine or or what I haven't tried it with regular felt I may have some laying around somewhere I might try that and see what happens but this is the stamping up felt all right so let's do the card first because I already cut out the little um, poinsettias and everything for that so and it's easier to just get the card out of the way and then 
we can get the box going. On this one, I'm going to use the early espresso for the little sprig, but this goes together pretty quick. And let's see, I think I did this as a top fold, yeah. So this is a 4x8, and you scored it 4 for the 4x4, four four. and then this piece is 3 and 7 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. So we are going to, let's just use our stamp and seal. I've been using a lot of wet glue lately. I'm still cannot get the hang of this, and I see people using it so easily, and I'm like, I'm doing something wrong here. I cannot get it to <laughs> work for me that well. I'm still trying. I'm not going to give up on it like the fast fuse. I thought I was going to give up on it, and I decided, no, I'm not giving up on it. So we're going to put that down there. And these are just the two smallest little dies off of here. And then when we cut the big ones, I'm going to show you a little trick that I use for cutting these. But those two were really easy to cut through, cut to cut because they're so small. All right, I'm going to use the Stamparatus to stamp because I could not, for the life of me, get there. Hi, Trish, welcome. I couldn't get it to line up. I did it I don't know how many times, so I decided to do it on the Stamparatus because it always works well. So we're going to use the Soft Suede. I don't know why I couldn't line this up just on my own, but hi Barbara. So we're just going to ink that up and stamp that. I love this stamp apparatus. I use it a lot more on my regular, um, when I'm working on regular projects than I do for when I'm live or in my videos. <laughs> I use it a lot to line up when I do my cards and stuff. I'm going to wipe that so I don't get it on my... I love the sentiment on here too. The warm wishes from our our home to yours. I'm going to use this again when we do the other one, the box. All right, so I'm just I'm going to cut this. So I'm just going to cut it by hand here, and we're going to put that on here. See what I mean about this. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Anybody have any hints for me? Hi, Loretta. Welcome. Any tips, anybody? <laughs> Let me use my... I want to make sure I have this pretty straight. And then I'm going to cut this piece, this piece right here. I'm going to use my wet glue. This is easier to um, use the wet glue for this. Come on. <laughs> my wet, look. Now it's going to give me our time, the wet glue. Let me get my little pin and open that up. I've been using it all day today. I don't know why it would be clogged up, but you know how that happens. All right. Ooh, now it's going to really come out. So we're going to just lay this here. And then I also used the wet glue on this one, on these. So I may not have cut that short enough. And I cut that right off there. And we're going to put this. Here. And then this one, you just stagger these. And then we're going to use our little, I love these, the metallic pearls. 
Oh, look at that. I covered my warm wishes. I need to scoot that over just a hair. There we go. The wet glue does take a while to dry on the um, felt, though. And I'm going to use my Early Espresso ribbon. I'm just going to cut some little. This, this is how I did it for the box, too. So you'll see how I'm just cutting some little tails. And I'm going to just put them underneath. So I just need to lift those. And I'm just, it's just going to look like, you know, ribbon is coming out from the bottom. I should have done these first, but. I think I need to cut that a little bit shorter. I may have cut that one a little bit too short. It's all right. So now we're going to use our little metallic. I'm only going to use three on this one. On the other one I use, I think, six or something. But I'm just going to put three in the middle. It's a really quick one, but it's, it's really a fun little quick car that just if you want to send something small or put it in a gift or something all right so look how quick and easy that was so that's the card and then i would just put some very vanilla in here i may even stamp the inside with the stamp set so it's the it's this stamp set and the dies and it is a bundle so when you buy the bundle you save 10 percent Okay, so there's the card, and now for the box, you're going to need a piece of soft suede, and this is nine and a half by seven and a half. And then I have, I'm going to have to cut out the flower and stuff on the big shot, but oh, thank you, Shawnee. I did cut these early espresso ones, but then I went and cut ahead and cut out the real red. And we'll decide when we get there to see which ones will look better. Because I did them in the soft suede before, and they didn't really show up too well on there. So I did cut some other ones. So those are all from the same die set. So the matting that we have for this is three and three eighths by two and seven eighths. Again, when I put this on YouTube, I'll put all the dimensions and everything in the video. And then you need two that are one and three eighths by two and seven eighths and two that are one and three eighths by three and three eighths for the sides and the, it's not three by three. It is three, it's three and a half by three. So it's a little bit bigger. And then, of course, for the sentiment, it's five eighths inches by two and an eighth, but I'll end up cutting this shorter. I think two and an eighth is about where it ends up at. All right, let's let's go ahead and cut the pieces first. So for those the pieces, this is what I did with. I just used purple tape, and I I to hold these together so I can run it through all at one time. So I just keep them on my magnet sheet like that. And so I just pick them up by the purple tape and then lay it down and I run them through. So it's really easy when you have them already together and you're not trying to put, you know, one inside the other every time that you um, run it through the machine. So let's get the cut and emboss. And like I always say, don't do it on this mat. I should take it out because I find it does slide around and I normally use it on a hard surface and it works really good on there. I don't like when it slides around. It makes it harder to, to turn and <laughs> All right, so let's, let's do our leaves first. 
So let me grab those dies again. And we need to cut two of the leaves. So you're just gonna do it like you do your regular um, thin dies. And it will make, it makes that creaky sound when you run it through on, on the um, felt. But it cuts it out really nice. So here's the one. And then I'll move this. And then we'll do the other one. You may get some areas that there'll be some little, um, you know, pieces that want to stay. But if you run it through twice, I haven't been finding that to happen. The first time I ran it through one time and it did a couple little areas stuck. So if you go back and forth, it'll, it'll work fine. So we're gonna do, we need to do one big one. So see how easy it is to just lay it on there when you already, so I need one, two, and I need one of the small ones for this one. I'm trying to keep them to conserve the felt. <laughs> actually such a weird sound to me but all right so the little one is right there sometimes they stick to these your plate too but it's not like it's a problem but I do love the felt how it looks okay so there's our other one you can do it if you don't have felt or anything you can do it with your regular cardstock it would be really cute too but I don't know the felt really is pretty so we're just doing three layers and I think that's all I need to cut out because I already cut the little sprigs out so I think that's it so we're gonna put this together And we're just gonna, I'm just gonna stagger these. I'm so into the holiday stuff. I just can't help myself. I'm trying to do some other stuff too, but. So this is gonna take a few minutes to dry because of the felt, it usually does. So I'm gonna just set it aside and we'll get the box going. I'm not gonna put any of the little beads or anything in it yet let's score this i hope you can see it because i know this is a little dark but i really like this color with designer series paper all right now i'm missing my my little stylus oh here it is Ooh, i put it away in my drawer i don't know why i would do that okay so we're sc scoring it at the nine and a half inside at one half At three and a half, at five, and at eight. I'm going to turn it on the seven and a half inch side and score it at one half, at two, at five and a half, and at seven. All right, so that's it. Hi, Joanne. All right, so the half inside is going to be our little flap that folds in. So I'm just gonna cut these off here. And we're gonna do the same on this side. And then, let me get my bigger scissors. It's easier to do it this way. We're gonna cut up each of these sides here. And we're gonna cut off the top, but let's just go ahead and do one side at a time here. I'm gonna cut these off here. 
and then I'm going to cut this one off. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And then cut up each one of these. And then on these four here, we're going to cut off the little half inch side here. You can cut these smaller too if you want, but like you can cut the half inch plus more because we're going to, these are going to be our glue tabs for the inside. They're going to go inside. And sometimes it's better to make them smaller so you don't have so much of that bulk inside your box. And then these we're going to cut because these are the flaps that are going to go inside. And that's what it's going to look like. All right, so let's sharpen these all up. Of course, I'm, you know, I'm a box fanatic. <laughs> so I'm using my stamp and seal plus for this part. I'm telling you, I can't do not one box and get it all of them. I love the strength of these, both of them, especially the Stampin' Seal. It's much stronger than our um, snail used to be. But, like I said, I'm not giving up yet. <laughs> and then just pull up all your sides. Make sure they're really square and then there's your little flaps and then this will fold inside like that. Oop. Pushed it in. Okay, there. All right, let's mat these. So I'm going to use wet glue to mat this. So pretty. I wasn't going to buy any more designer series paper, but guess what? I ordered another one. Another. I kept looking at it and looking at it and I gave in. Right. So we are going to, I'm going to go ahead. I'm only going to put the adhesive right in the center because I'm going to be lifting it up to um, add the leaves and stuff. And it does take it a while to adhere to the box too because like I said the felt for some reason seems to take a little bit longer to dry. I'm just going to put a little bit under here. Thanks for sharing Dauber. Okay. So we're just going to put the leaves under there. Now, this is where decisions need to be made. <laughs> I need to decide, well, let's put the ribbon on first. No, maybe we ought to put this on. Should we put red berries on here? I'm going to cut these because they'll be too long. Should we put red berries? Or should we put the other ones that I had? I'm just cutting those. Or should we put, like I did on this one, I actually use the uh, soft suede on this, but I'm using the ribbon in um, early espresso. <laughs> Thinking, what did I cut then? Or should we use the early espresso? Give me your opinion. <laughs> what do y'all think? Let's put this one on this side and you can see the difference. I'm going to use the ribbon in early espresso. So 
I'm gonna put the ribbon on first. So how I did the ribbon is I'm just cutting like little loops because it's a fake bow. So we're cutting a couple like this. Any opinions out there? And then we're just gonna cut two little tails. And then we're gonna put these on. I like to use my ribbon scissors for this, but. All right, I'm gonna get some glue dots here. And we're gonna just put these together. Nobody has an opinion. Early espresso. Okay, let's take those out a minute. And I'm gonna, I'm just using glue dots to hold these together and then I'm just using glue dots to stick them under here. So I'm just going to put these under here. And then this one too. We'll do this one. And then I'm gonna do the other one here. So it's gonna be, oops, see what I mean about the, uh, you can use glue dots on these two if you wanna hold, have it hold really quick. I used wet glue yesterday and it took about 30 minutes for it to really, really stick without coming out. And then these two I'm using again. Hi, Teresa. Welcome. And then we are going to put these under here. I need to make that one longer. Oopsie. I'm going to need to add more to that one. And then this one too. The glue dots will hold it right away. Oh, I'll put this one under here. So we have, <laughs> I have a glue dot stuck to my finger, so it's grabbing this felt. <laughs> yes, we do have green felt. It's, uh, it looks like just jade to me. It's this one right here. And then it's got the early espresso, the whisper white, and the real red. So you were saying the early espresso, right? So let's cut this one a little bit shorter. We're going to put that one. I'm going to use a glue dot on there. And then we're going to stick this one in here. You can make, oh, you can use dimensionals on here too. I was just thinking it would really pop that up. If you use dimensionals on it, where, oh. <laughs> I already got it stuck in there. Yeah, you can definitely use a hot glue gun. It would really adhere quick. And then, um, these on that side and then we just need to add our sentiment and I need to stamp that with the Stamparatus again because I told you I couldn't get it straight <laughs> earlier so we're not playing games we're just gonna get it done <laughs> I'm going to use the gold, um, oh yeah, you can use gold, the gold, since I got the gold on there, yeah, that would be cute, using your gold foil would be cute. I didn't think of that one, that's a good idea. And then... We'll just put the sentiment on and our little gold beads. So let's see, I'll need to cut this. And then we'll cut here. 
And I'm going to use my stamp and seal from this. Oh, me too, Teresa. I love this set. And I love I loved using it with the felt. The felt is really really makes it pretty. So there's our sentiment and then let's just use our little metallic gold beads here for the center. I'm going to put one in the middle and then we're going to do some all the way around. I still got that glue dot on my tip of my finger. Doesn't want to leave me. And then I think one more. Yeah. You can even put the you can even put them on these little ends. <laughs> you can put them on the ends of these. But oh that would be a lot. But Here's the other one where I use the soft the soft suede on is for the little berries. But you know, I think if I make thanks, Sheila. If I make another one, I may use dimensionals in here to really like pop that up and bring it up a little bit more. But I mean, it's pretty flat too. But they're really cute. Here's the little cards that go with them. All right, everyone. I hope you all have a great night and a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you next week. Bye, everyone.